Welcome, friends, to the Crew Motor Fest. I got to check it out early and... I'm gonna show you. Something to mention straight away about this game is unlike a lot of other games recently, it is gonna be available currently so far they've announced on the previous generation consoles as well as the current and PC. It's gonna be available for a lot of people to play, but here we go. The introduction to the crew motor fest. Now, it would be obvious to jump in and say straight away, a lot of people have made comparisons to Forza Horizon 5, but I'd like to let you know that the crew had this format of playlists and such quite a while before Horizon 5, in my opinion, with the summit. The summit was in the crew one, and that's the theme, realistically from what I can tell, of the game. The whole thing is kind of linked to a summit-esque event. You've got the motorsport section of the game. You've got the, the street racing, as we just saw. You've got Porsches. You've got bikes. You've got all the other types of vehicles that you don't really see in uh, other games. Now, one thing to note throughout this video, I'm going to be switching between two sets of gameplay. The gameplay we played was at 60 frames. The gameplay you just saw was not. However, the settings seem to be different. So between the two is the best, I think. All right, everyone. Settle down. I know you're all excited. That chopper ride is always a trip. So, welcome again to the Motorfest. I'm Malu, the Motorfest PR, and I'm here to get you up to speed. You are our special guests, athletes, festival goers, car lovers, all gathered Pause. here Pause. in majestic Hawaii. These are the festival grounds. Oh, it looks so we've good. Got the whole island set up for you we've created a place where you can drive anything from the iconic to the super customized it's a motor fest branded lovingly crafted car culture celebration we call these lovelies the playlists the playlists. and i'm not just reading from the motor fest app here either i tried them out before you arrived and <laughs> here let me show you now, they have done a really good job at the intro on this game. Much better than the previous. You can tell a lot of work was put into it. So, right at the beginning of the game, dive into this insane Supra that... I, I don't even know what to say. It looks incredible. It's got a wide body. Look at the lights on it. The handling has clearly been improved. You've still got NOS. The lighting looks amazing. Of course, they knew exactly... This was calculated. They knew exactly what they were doing with this playlist introduction. This is where tarmac meets tradition. From mountain peaks to city streets, this neon journey is not one to miss. Properly set, you've got the Evo, the, the special Evo from the Crew 2 there. A lot of the cars obviously come over from the Crew 2. And uh, again, <clears throat> worth noting, this is not our gameplay. <laughs> so to demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about, I'm going to switch over to ours, which is 60 frames. But I think it's very worth noting straight away, look, this doesn't look as good. This is using clearly like an FSR or okay. equivalent, but... What this means is obviously games are now easier to port to previous generations and bring down rather than affecting the new consoles and PC. I don't know what the settings were on this. I have absolutely no idea. Shout out to uh, Meadow for doing the gameplay here, which is, again, I was, I was busy. I'm jealous, I know. Once you complete the Japan race, oh, what a spicy car. No, honestly, I'm I'm so excited to look at the drifting in this game and everything. There's so much to discover in this game. It covers so many bases. What's next? What's next? You know what? A chance to race into the wild. The the thing is, I'm not particularly an off-road type person. However, the crew has always done a really good job at like making me actually want to play off road <laughs> mostly for the exploration type deal of course this map we have got to explore so so, so sick to be back in hawaii driving off road gives you an opportunity to carve your own path yeah yeah we know that also the jeep without the roof and the doors that's super sick there's so much new to talk about just from the gameplay alone but it looks awesome again this is on the uh, some higher settings from as i could aware but again it's running at like 1080p 
dropping down into water. Again, it's off-roading in the crew. After the off-road section, we moved on to something super sick. Already, we've covered two really big bases that a lot of people very much enjoy. However, is all about the competition. She's explaining it. The competition is the focus of the next one. It is motorsports. This one is for the pros. Super cool. So you've got these Formula One-esque cars, they're futuristic versions. And yeah, straight away, you'll notice something right at the top, the tire wear bar, which is super cool. Now it's moving pretty quick. Of course, this is settings based. The tires aren't gonna wear this quickly. However, it's a pretty cool feature to have, especially when you realize you're telling you to go to the pit lane. And as you do go into the pit lane, you have a cool animation in where they're actually uh, fixing the car and off you go. So yes, pit stops are going to be in the crew for the motorsport events, which is really, it's just a really cool feature. It just adds to the whole motorsport feel. What I'm hoping, oh, F1, very cool. I really hope it has that sound. <laughs> really really hope oh and now we go in old school a playlist for the true car aficionado so cool right so moving on this is a classic style race and you'll notice the speedo is actually different which is really really cool they've got the the color themes overlaid on the game as well you got the 60s balloons up there they changed the theme of the actual race and, and I, I love that. They've got to step further with it in this game because they did it in the crew too, but not just filters this time. They've got proper cool prop placement, of course, because, you know, they can make new ones. I'm going to be spending a lot of time driving these classic cars. I, I, I feel like they have a much more loose handling style, which you can actually uh, just uh, tuning your handling a lot more in this game. Just not sure if I'm able to show it. So, uh, I won't do that yet. Maybe it's not final. Again, the game isn't final. I will, I will make sure I put that on the screen at the beginning. <laughs> oh, the front looks so good. <laughs> Man, I'm excited for this game. Really, really excited to dive in. There's so much to explore, even with just the cars, which I did notice they really, really only focused on the road cars and the cars should i say not the road cars but the road vehicles <laughs> moving on the new lamborghini is available which is so sick i did not expect it to be in the game that fast but here she is and once again to show you i'm going to bring the fsr mode or oh, clearly fsr <laughs> however yeah the, 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 this must be a specific event for this car. But again, this is one of the coolest Lamborghinis I've seen in a long time. I'm really excited to try it out. But again, you can actually see from the wheel below, you've got ABS, ESP, and traction control. So you can turn those off. Again, you could in the previous game to some extent, but it wasn't in the plain English format that they've gone for. Now, pretty darn cool. They're going to have some crazy Lamborghini playlists. It is pretty obvious, including the big one. We, we saw the big one on the main trailer. I cannot wait to get to that car. <laughs> like what you saw? Absolutely. Well, we're just the tip of the iceberg. So moving on then to the core gameplay loop of the game. Jumping into a playlist, which is on a set theme, as you saw from the introduction. This is the Japan playlist. And for sure, one of the ones that everyone was going to want to do first. Pretty positive actually so there's a whole lot to figure out about this game and how it's gonna lay itself out but to, to give you the basics yes it's mostly these playlists in the crew 2 it was kind of you had different factions and you could progress through each faction this time it's you pick a playlist and you progress through the playlist and you get a reward this is made in japan and the introduction we got an eclipse to the side i guess the crew already had the eclipse but nonetheless I'm always excited when I see an eclipse in a game, especially when it's running and working. Thanks, Mitsubishi. <laughs> At least they know we don't want the big, ugly SUV in the games. Right, anyway, the squad pull up. Ah, you're good. 
<laughs> Sorry you had to wait, kid. Why are you sat on that NSX? What are you doing? Want to show us what you can do? Try this guy then. So this playlist, jumping into the Honda NSX to complete a slew of Japanese style events when it's, it's really, really cool. And the island really fits like a Japanese theme, as you can see. It, 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 it's like they, they properly prop up the map ready for the playlist to suit the theme right, of go. the playlist. We're going for some proper Japanese street racing. And so Let's show them, guys. Gotcha. You've got like a, a interactions as you play through the playlist. Usually there's like a, a leader of the playlist. So they kind of walk you through exactly what you're going to be doing. But uh, of course, we're so good at driving. It's not me driving. We're so good at driving. We're going to destroy the competition with our eyes closed. free tours here. You got to play your part and give us a bit of a challenge. A little bit. Yeah, don't scare the kid. You're literally losing already. For the sake of frame rate, I'm going to show you. Here is... The, the higher frame rate, of course, again, a little bit jumpy stuff. I don't know what systems they were using. They didn't tell us the specs and we didn't really get to see them. So nonetheless, here you go. FSR, for the sake of frame rate, they clearly uh, <laughs> went FSR there. Something that's cool is that each playlist seems to have its own theme music again to fit it. So there's a lot of work gone into placing, making everything feel very authentic in this game, depending on what what you're doing it, it, it fits a theme so then this is the final race of the playlist you get a cool introduction showing the squad pulling up it, 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 it the sounds it's like a too fast too furious throwback this whole introduction is very much too fast too furious throwback now this time obviously we are racing it for real it rather than just the introduction oh. hold on <sighs> <laughs> already better than the new Fast and Furious movie. I can't say that. I haven't seen it. However, that's just my uh, assumption. The RX-7 has got a wide body on new lights. I just realized the new front bumper. There's new parts available for that RX-7. That looks spicy. Anyway, the Made in Japan playlist. Very good one to start on for the demonstration purposes of our channel. Guys, you know, you wanted to see this just as much as I did. Anyway, this race once again. We race in the Supra, put our foot down, a little bit of slipping, bit of wheel spinning. I can't wait to try it with traction off and, and really get a feel for how the handling is. The game is very much still an arcade game. Absolutely no, no doubt. In my, like it, that's that's preferred. I want an arcade racing game. All right. It's, if you hadn't realized so far. I don't know what to tell you. So anyway, upon completing the playlist, I believe there are about six events in this one. You get this little video here. That might have been the second event. I don't know. Either way, once you complete the playlist, you get access to a vehicle. Now, I don't know how I feel about this specifically. It depends how long and difficult some of these playlists are, but you get a Supra as a reward. That's a lot of reward. You know, for the first playlist especially, this used to be the highest end car back in the day. <laughs> Need for speed on the ground. This was the best car. So I'd be curious to see how easy it is to beat these playlists. And uh, I hope the game is not too rewarding because too rewarding kind of removes a sense of achievement that I really, really want to see. Anyway, that is the Crew Motor Fest. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks to Ubisoft for giving me access. Check out this video here for more Motor Fest.